Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time it's going to be a quick video of me breaking down how to counter your opponent's jab. And we're going to be looking at footage from Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and Gennady Golovkin. Okay, so before I talk about counters for the jab, let's briefly talk about what exactly the jab is. Now since we all already know what the jab is, I'm not going to have to you know, go into great detail. Basically it's going to, your most important tool in boxing. And it's going to be the most frequently used tool used by both fighters as it's used to score points, set up offense, disrupt your opponent, you know, maintain distance, the list goes on and on and on. So if your opponent and you are using it all the time, it could be very problematic if your opponent has a better jab than you and you cannot deal with it. So how can we stop our opponent from using the jab? Let's take a look. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is of Gennady Golovkin countering the jab. Keep in mind this specific example is for a conventional versus conventional fighter or southpaw versus southpaw, it really doesn't matter um, as long as both fighters are of the same stance. So this one is going to be the most basic one where Gennady Golovkin is going to parry Gabe Rosado's jab and then simply just return fire with a jab of his own. So he's going to So he's going to parry Gabe Rosado's jab and then shoot a jab of his own. Now this one's going to be the most basic example and also the safest example. This one's my favorite because it doesn't require any strict timing or studying your opponent. You could simply just see their jab coming, parry it if you're in the correct stance, meaning if you have your right hand up or left if you're a southpaw, and you simply just parry the jab and then jab back. So every time you jab, I want to jab twice. Jab once. Pop, pop. Jab two times. Pop, pop, pop. Either you want to stop jabbing or we're going to be jabbing, setting each other up with shots, and it's going to be a great fight. Because you know you got a jab to keep me off you, I got a jab to keep you off me. Okay, so for all of you southpaws out there, this time we're going to take a look at Manny Pacquiao displaying his signature counter for the jab. As we can see, Manny Pacquiao is in a forward leaning position. So right now he's going to bait a jab from Jesse Vargas. Now he does that by leaning forward and actually you see his hand held just a little bit low. This is what Manny Pacquiao does against his conventional opponents. He baits them into throwing a jab by giving them an inviting target. You see he's leaning in and this is going to bait out a response from Jesse Vargas. Now since we know the jab is the most important tool in boxing and it's also the most frequently used tool in boxing, if your opponent is going to punch, it is most likely going to be a jab. So we see Manny Pacquiao is baiting a punch from Jesse Vargas, which is most likely going to be a jab. So what we're going to see here is as soon as Jesse Vargas moves, Manny Pacquiao is going to recognize that as a punch and what he's going to do is going to slip to the outside of the jab and simultaneously shoot a left hand as he does it. And down goes Vargas. So you could bait your opponent into throwing a jab and counter it just by seeing a little bit of movement from him. Okay, once again we're going to look at Manny Pacquiao in a southpaw versus conventional matchup. But this time he's going to use a different counter. Uh, instead of using his left hand to split the jab, so using your lead hand is actually going to be safer to use and more reliable since your lead hand is closer to your opponent. So what Manny Pacquiao is going to do is use a right hook over Miguel Cotto's jab. So we're going to see Miguel Cotto shoot a jab and Manny Pacquiao is going to shoot his right hook right around Miguel Cotto's glove 
and notice the foot position of the fighters. Manny Pacquiao establishes lead foot dominance by stepping over Miguel Cotto. Now, as I said in my previous video with Sorungri Sai and Chocolate Tito, uh, establishing lead foot dominance in a southpaw versus orthodox fight is very important as uh, the one with lead foot dominance is able to set up whatever punch they want to. So right here we're going to see Manny Pacquiao drop Miguel Cotto. Now before we move on I've drawn this diagram to illustrate the three main opportunities with when you could counter an opponent's punch. If you look at the picture on the far left uh, we could see that you could counter somebody before they could even throw a punch. So we see the boxer in blue is punching the boxer in red before the boxer in red can even throw his punch as shown by the arrows. And we see in the middle picture you could counter somebody simultaneously as you see the, the boxer in blue is parrying the boxer in red's punch and simultaneously hitting the boxer in red with his own punch. And on the picture on the right uh, I'm trying to illustrate that the boxer in red has already thrown a punch and is now pulling his punch back as depicted by the arrow and then the boxer in blue is hitting him as he's pulling back or after he pulls back. Okay so now we're gonna take a look at Floyd Mayweather doing the infamous Mayweather pull counter on Juan Manuel Marquez. And before I break this down I wanna stress the fact that this technique is actually not a super hard one to do. You actually don't need super quick reflexes or you, you don't need to be a spectacular boxer in order to pull off this technique. It's really just done with uh, timing and distance which can be practiced. So really the Mayweather pull counter all starts with the distance. If you take a look at the stances right now, uh, we take a look at Floyd Mayweather his, in the position of his hands, his gloves, and his feet. We notice that Mayweather's head, gloves, and lead foot, now this is very important, they are all in pretty much in line with one another. Mayweather is leaning forward so that his head, his gloves, and his lead foot are basically all on the same line. You could draw a straight line from his foot up to his gloves and up to his head. So basically they're the same, they're all the same distance from Juan Manuel Marquez. And you look, his, his rear foot is way back there. Now compare that with Juan Manuel Marquez's stance, who's in a more traditional stance. You know, his, his head, his gloves, and his lead foot have a little bit more distance between them and that's basically how you set up this Mayweather pull counter. Uh, contrary to popular belief the distance between two fighters is not the distance be between their heads or their gloves it's really the distance between their lead foot. You see Floyd Mayweather's head could be really anywhere it could be he could be leaning back he could be neutral he could be leaning forward but it's the distance of his front foot that dictates how far he is from his opponent. So what we're going to see here is Mayweather is going to bait a jab from Marquez. And we know it's going to be a jab because like I said, the jab is the most important tool in boxing and therefore it's going to be the most frequently used tool. So if you're going to bait a punch from your opponent, it is most likely going to be a jab. Mayweather makes himself an inviting target by leaning forward. And the second he sees Marquez move what looks like a punch, he's going to pull back. So let's take a look. Marquez takes the bait and he shoots the jab. And all Mayweather has to do is pull back and kick his rear leg out for additional balance. See this really isn't hard to do. If you stand in front of somebody and lean forward, the second you see movement from them is when you're going to do this. See it doesn't matter what Marquez does. It could have been a straight right, it could have been a left hook. If Mayweather pulls back which, like he does, 
he would dodge pretty much everything the same way. So that's why this move is actually pretty easy to do in practice. So Marquez throws his jab and Mayweather pulls back using his rear foot for balance because after all he was only leaning in to begin with so all he has to do is pull back into his regular stance and then from there he's going to push forward off of his rear foot and throw the straight right hand right over the top of Marquez's jab. Now it's actually most effective to throw a counter punch on the same side as your opponent's hand that they threw. So for example Marquez used his left hand to throw the jab. So as he's throwing it, since his left hand was used to throw the punch, he doesn't have a hand there to protect himself. So Mayweather is easily able to hit him on that exposed side. As always, thanks for watching everybody. If you learned something, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm definitely going to be making more videos just like this. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.